Okay, here's a quick tutorial on um, Chapter 1, Assessment 2, Applying Custom Number Formats. It asks us to create a custom number format to display hours after this. Um, and it also asked us to make that into um, fractions on the step before. So I think my appearance might be a little different from yours, but I'm going here on the Home tab to More Number Formats and then we're going to customize this. So it's showing up here what the sample will look like and we're going to change what we want here in this type place, but first let's go look for the um, there. We want it to be 2 and a quarter instead of 2.25 and then we want to apply some text. So I'm going to give it a space and then for text we have to put it in quotation marks like that and um, let's see and look up here. It's going to be two and one quarter hours. The trick to this is to remember to put quotation marks around whatever text you want to appear, and that's that, that's easy to forget. So there's a trick for it, and it's I believe on page 20 in your book it gives you a whole bunch of different options for creating custom formats. So I'm going to say OK, and that makes it look like we want it to look here. Um, and then the other thing that it asked us to do is to put RSR in front of the work order number. So um, again, I'm going to use the ticket number because this isn't exactly the same, but the process is the same. So again, we're going to go to our more number formats here, custom, and we've got a number in there, but we want to put some text in before our number. So I'm just taking a look at my options. Let's see, I think we want some numbers, and we don't want commas, so let's try here for general, and then we can put quotation marks, RSR, dash, quotation marks, and that is what it's going to give us in front of our ticket number or our work order number. So remember to use the quotation marks, and you go to um, on the number section, on the home tab, you go down to custom, more formats, and then custom formats. Good luck!